Good morning and welcome. Thanks for joining in today. Today I'm going to talk about different tests that are done in the hospital or in the laboratory to check for the functions of our kidneys. Why are these tests necessary? The reason these tests are necessary, not just for the kidney, but for different organs of our body, like for the heart, they are tests to check the functioning of the heart. For the brain, they are tests to check the functions of the brain. For the liver, they are tests to check the functions of our liver. Similarly, they are tests to check the functions of our kidney, to make sure our kidneys are working well. When do these tests for the kidney functions become necessary? Doctors might want to check the functions of the kidneys for many different symptoms, some of which I have written over here. Someone's blood pressure has suddenly become very high. Someone is retaining water in their body, which means they get puffy legs and puffy arms. They get swollen tummy, blood in the urine. They got painful urine or they're passing too much urine very frequently or they're not passing enough urine. There are many other symptoms which might point that might be a problem with the kidneys. And when that happens, the doctor will want to investigate the kidney functions. So there are different ways of testing how the kidneys are working. Some are very simple tests. So doctor gives you a sterile bottle and asks you to do a urine sample in it. And that urine sample can be checked in the doctor's surgery by a little dipstick. So it can check for protein, it can check for infection, it can check for glucose, it can check for blood in the urine. So simple things can be checked with those very, very quick tests. And the result is available within a couple of minutes. A single sample of that urine can also be sent to the laboratory to check for what sort of infection we have. So laboratory looks under the microscope or puts a culture to see what sort of bacteria are growing in the urine if there is any chance of infection. Some urine tests are done by collection of 24 hour sample. So this 24 hour monitoring will give us different information and perhaps far more information as compared to a single sample of urine can give us. Certain blood tests can be done to check for the kidney functions, very simple blood tests done in almost every laboratory. When our proteins break down in our body, they produce nitrogen and nitrogen is a waste product with the kidneys get rid of in the form of urea. And that is called blood urea nitrogen. And that can be checked if the level is too high, which means our kidneys are not clearing the nitrogen very well. So kidneys are probably not functioning normally. Creatinine is a breakdown of our proteins again in our body and kidney completely gets rid of the creatinine because it is quite toxic to our body, quite poisonous. And if the creatinine levels in the blood are going above normal, which means the kidneys are not functioning normally. EGFR, which is estimated glomerular filtration rate, bit of a tongue twister, is the way our kidneys are filtering. How well are they functioning as a filter? If you're not sure about how the kidneys work, please do watch my last video on how do the kidneys function in our body. It is very informative and hopefully you will understand what I'm talking about here. So these are the main tests done in the laboratory to check the functions of the kidneys. Most people will have two normal kidneys. However, we do not require two normal kidneys to have a normal function of the kidneys. One kidney is enough if it's working normally, is enough to sustain our body, to get rid of all the toxins from our body and to make our body function normally. If the kidneys are abnormal on doing different tests, then the doctors might want to do some x-rays. Some of these x-rays are done with dyes and some scans are done as well, like ultrasound scan, CT scan, MRI scan. There are also some radioactive scans which are done, which means an injection is given in the vein with a radioactive material and see how the kidneys are functioning. And if one kidney is functioning more than the second one, or if both kidneys are working correctly or if both kidneys are working equally. In certain cases, a biopsy of the kidney might be necessary to see what is causing the kidneys to become abnormal.
So these were the few tests which are done in the laboratory and in the hospital to check the functioning of our kidneys, whether they're functioning normally or not functioning normally. Or if one kidney is not functioning normally as compared to the other one. There are many more tests available. I tried making this video as simple to understand as possible. If you have any questions, please feel free to write in the comments and I'll try and answer your questions. Thanks for watching my video again and please do remember to subscribe and until next time, I'll see you soon. Take care.